and this is my apprentice chef Harlow. We are from a local business called The Organic Place here in Melton and today we're here for the Melton City Council Learning Directory teaching you guys how to cook pickled cucumbers. So to start off with today this is a recipe that we found from Jamie Oliver. We love Jamie Oliver's recipes because you find you kind of have all the ingredients in your cupboard and I don't think we've ever had a Jamie Oliver meal that has been a disaster. They're always so tasty. So today we have Carlo over here has got some Lebanese cucumbers, which she's going to thinly slice for us. So she's going to chop the ends off each. You can start chopping them. And while Carlo's doing that, I've got some two very small onions here, which I'm going to do the same as Carlo. We're going to chop the ends off and we're going to peel them. The best way to peel an onion is to chop the ends off, chop it in half and then take that first layer off. Nice and easy. Get rid of those. How are you going over there? Good. What can you tell us about cucumbers? They are good for you. They are good for you. They're good for your skin. Do you know what vitamins you can find in cucumbers? K. Vitamin K, very good. B and A. You are very clever. And they're also an antioxidant. So I'm very thinly slicing these and I'm not crying, which is handy. How are you going over there? Good. So we chose to do pickled cucumbers today because the kids don't like pickled cucumbers. We're trying to get them to eat them, to have them in their sandwiches or when we have hamburgers. And we find a way to, well, in our case, introduce kids to new food is if they um, take part in cooking it or preparing it. Um, so I know that once Hannah has done these and pickled them, she's going to be really excited to take them home to her brothers and sisters and proud of herself that she's made them and I can guarantee you that everybody will eat them and like them. Do you want a hand with some of them? Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm just going to help with these. So with these onions, I'm just going to, we've got a colander here that we're going to pop the onions in and when Harlow's done a few covers, we'll pop them in as well. So if you've run out of room there, you can pop them in there. Okay. Yep. Good girl. And I guess you can um, slice them as thin or as thick as you like. And you could also go lengthways, but today we've chosen smaller jars. I like to use smaller jars because you go through them quicker. If they're larger, um, they last a while. So, let's pop them in there. How are you going there? And I've got one line in here. Mm -hmm. What other recipes do you like to use cucumbers in, Harlow? Uh, the tuna. Oh, yes, that's another idea. We slice cucumbers like that and we just pop a little uh, tuna on the top. That's a good after school snack. And for mum and dad, a slice of chilli after that. Doing a good job there. So, slicing the last one up. This here. You can eat that one. Good girl. <laughs> Alright, now when Harlow's done with that last one, I think that'll be enough because we've got two small jars in the oven sterilising. So we'll pop them all in there. So now Harlow's popping some salt into the cucumber and onion mix and she's going to just stir that through with the wooden spoon and we're going to leave it sit for about 45 minutes and while that's doing we're going to prepare the rest. Good girl. Mixing it in. Okay, so Harlow has given these cucumbers and onions a thorough stir. Now she's going to make the liquid that we're going to pickle the cucumbers in. So what have you got there? Mm -hmm. Very good. We've got 300 mils of white vinegar, mm -hmm. which we're going to pop into this pot here. So tip that in. Good girl. And now we've got these funky looking things. What are these called? Would you like to show everybody? What are they? Yeah, 
Star and Nice. These look like stars. And what do they smell like? They smell like licorice. All right, so we're going to pop them in. Good girl. Now, who can you tell me what that is? Good girl. So we've got 150 grams of sugar there. We've just got some of this organic sugar over here, which we're going to pop in. Good girl. Good job. Next, what are we going to do here? Mustard seeds. Mustard seeds. Good girl. So we're going to put four teaspoons of mustard seeds in. Good job. That's all right. It happens. Good girl. And one more. Now, what is this? Would you like to show everybody what it is? Turmeric. And what's turmeric good for? It helps you fight colds and flus and diseases, and it gives you a good immune system, especially in winter. Uh -huh. Very good. And it's very flavoursome, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Now, if you want to add your teaspoon into this saucepan and give it a stir. Good girl. Oh, now look at the colour of that. That looks good. So we're just going to continue stirring this mixture here until the sugar is uh, dissolved and it's bubbling. So maybe, depending on the heat, maybe about five or ten minutes. As you can see, um, it's coming along nicely with the steam. Keep stirring. In the meantime, we've still got the cucumbers and the uh, onions over here working their magic. Yep. And in the oven, we've pre-prepared, or well, we're preparing uh, some sterilised jars. So we've got them in there at 100 degrees and we put them in there for about 20 minutes before we take them out and bottle up our pickled cucumbers. Now, we'd like to ideally wait 24 hours to eat these. However, the longer you leave them, the better they're going to taste because um, all these flavours are going to infuse into the cucumbers and they're going to be fantastic. It's turning yellow. It is turning yellow. Now, what are you going to eat these in? I'm going to have them in a roll mm, with pickled cucumbers. Mm -hmm. Do you reckon you could just eat them out in the jar? We don't know. We'll have to wait and see. It's ten. Oh, it's ten. It is. Tell us what it smells like now. Good. Thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Once the um, sugar is dissolved, then we're literally going to layer or just, you know, pop spoonfuls of this mixture here into the jars and then we're going to tip that on the top, seal it, turn it upside down and then we just let it sit and wait, as I said, at least 24 hours before eating. Um, the longer you leave it, the better. You can leave it in the fridge or the cupboard and then it's ready to go. As I said, hamburgers, sandwiches, rolls, uh, a platter would be really good with cabana and cheese and other dips. Okay, so I have the sterilised jars out of the oven. So we've placed them in there at 100 degrees for about 25 minutes. So while the cucumbers have been working their magic and Harlow over here is um, taking care of the liquid, um, I, I did obviously clean them beforehand in, in hot water but then into the oven to sterilise the lids and the jars. So now we're ready for the next step, which is to pop the cucumbers into the jars. Now, would my apprentice chef like to do this, or would you, do you like me to do it? You would like to do it. Alright, so Harlow's going to take over this side here. If you want to come over here, and then get in the spoon. We'll just turn this down a little bit. And now what Harlow's going to do is, we're only going to use two jars today. So we'll just move these to the side. And I think that's enough for those two. And we're just going to pop all of these into here. You can really smell that vinegar now. It's a really strong smell. Um, if you're at home, open your windows probably because your house will end up smelling like vinegar for a little while. It does smell good. Good job, Harlow. Very good. Now try and pack as much of that in there as you can mm -hmm. with a mixture of the onions and the cucumbers. Fantastic. Very good. And I guess you don't have to use these um, specific ingredients. I have seen cucumbers pickled with um, herbs as well, like a dill. So I really, really enjoy cooking with the kids and we've had them involved in cooking since they were really little because I, I find 
It's going to help them be more aware of food, be more inclined to try food. When they cook, they're so proud that they've achieved something and they've made something and you sit down as a family and the family get to try it and enjoy it. So hence today while we're trying to get pickled cucumbers into our diet. Um, I've really, in this isolation period as well, the kids have done a lot of cooking. They've learned to make bread. They've actually made our dinner a few times. We we're on dishes as parents, but they've made us full dinners. Um, and it's been a great experience for them as well because they've learnt uh, math skills. So we've bought them measuring cups and measuring spoons. So they've learnt halves and quarters and three quarters. They've learnt mills um, in teaspoons. Harlow is now an expert at reading the scales and on every packet of food we get. So like for instance, the sugar here, she's the first one to tell us how many grams are in it. So it's been educational in, I guess, many ways, learning how to cook, maths, reading. They're reading the recipes to us. We've had a good time, okay. and as you can see, they love doing it. So Arlo has now put all the, you're gonna push them down a little bit. She's popped all the cucumber, a good mixture of the cucumber and the onion into both jars. We're gonna push them down and make sure we've got as much in there as we possibly can. Mm -hmm. Good girl. And then I think I'll do this part because we're dealing hot liquid here. We're just gonna tip it into both of those jars. Okay, so we've cooked the um, oil, not oil, sorry, the vinegar mixture here. Uh, the sugar has now dissolved. I'm very, very carefully going to tip it into this measuring cup. Uh -huh. And if you would like to have the honours, and if you can carefully tip it both into, into both of those, there. Yeah. And we'll try and make sure we get some of the star anise in both of them. Because mm -hmm. that way it's going to continue to infuse the, the cucumbers with those beautiful flavours. Good girl. Oh, that looks amazing already. Good job. Yeah, if it gets too full, you can swap back to this one while it goes down and then come back. Yeah. So we need the liquid to cover the top of the cucumbers. So keep going. See how the liquid's just here? We need to get it up here. So I see this one's up close, we need to get it up there. So there's no air in there. If there's air in there, that's when you're looking at... Um, now things like this are really cool for gifts as well. So if you're looking for a Christmas presents or something, homemade pickles, jams, anything like that, pop the lid on, get one of those um, cheesecloth bits of material, some nice... Um, twine around that. It's a great, great gift. So if we do them up really, really tight. Turn them upside down for a second. How'd you go? Good. Good job. Let's tighten it up a little bit. Turn it upside down. Give it a shake. Get all clean our hands and we can clean them and then we're ready to go. Yes, yeah, so these are our finished products. We've managed to make how many? Two jars of pickled cucumbers, compliments of the Jamie Oliver recipe. These are great gift ideas. Um, it was quick and easy. It literally, despite the 45 minutes that it took to um, salt these and wait for these, it, it literally took 15 minutes. So nice and easy, very quick, very minimal mess, which is ideal. Um, and then we have this awesome flavoured pickled cucumber that we can either um, pop some of that cheesecloth on and some twine and give it to somebody as a gift, a Christmas gift, or we can just keep it in the cupboard for ourselves. Anyone will like it. Yes, I think everybody will like it, but nice, quick and easy. Store it in the fridge or the cupboard, but please wait at least 24 hours before eating it. The longer you leave it, the better. Anything else? Did I forget? I'm going to give it to Andrew. You're going to give it to Andrew, so you're giving it away. I'm going to put it on a hamburger. I'd love to hear your stories or experiences if you do try and cook this recipe. Um, head to our Facebook page and share your experience, what you cooked, if you added anything else, uh, the flavours you enjoyed in it, and of course what you're um, consuming it in, whether it was by itself, whether it was in a sandwich, whether it was on a platter. We'd love to hear. Our Facebook page is just The Organic Place, and the same as our YouTube and Instagram, just search The Organic Place.